श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम नमोस्तु राय सलक्ष्मणा दनकात्मज नमोस्तु रुद्रेन्द्रम नमोस्तु रुद्रेन्द्रयमेभ्य नमोस्तु चंद्रार्कमुद्गणेभ्य सियावर रामचंद्र की पवन सुत हनुमान की उमापति महादेव की बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय जय मा जय जय मा जय जय मा जय 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 मा जय जय मा जय अंबे दुर्गा मैया की हरिओम तत्सत वाई सडनली इन द राम कदा दुर्गा देवी केम टूडे द रीजन इज ऑल दिस ग्रेट क्वालिटीज व्हिच वी आर डिस्कसिंग एवरी डे एस्टरडे आल्सो इन आवर सत्संग we have completed almost the krutagnata krutagna to follow these virtues uh, the person needs a lot of uh, shakti 
each quality is supported by the inner energy shakti so that's why today we started invoking the ma shakti in this creation whatever is appearing in the form of the expression anything the leaves are moving the water is flowing wind is uh, also flowing moving any of that expression is called shakti even according to science it is called energy so one energy one shakti the cosmic energy is functioning in and through so many of these different different even though to say our blinking of the eyes and opening the eyes also is a energy even if you are getting in the middle of the class that is also energy sneezing yawning blinking every the expression so thought is also a energy expression so to imbibe and follow these uh, virtues these dharmas we need a lot of energy physical mental physiological psychological emotional so for all that purpose only the worship of the devi shakti om prakruti namaha one of the names in sri lalita sahasra namam ar mool prakruti namaha that also comes in there okay now let us come to the today's uh, other <coughs> aspects of this virtues yesterday we have concluded our topic in krutagnata with kai kai episode <laughs> that tells to us even who harms to us at the periphery outer level but still we must able to be grateful to them it's very difficult to digest this point if somebody is doing harm to me how can i <coughs> Uh, be grateful then we have to think in higher terms of the bhakti as i told two weeks uh, one week back all the difficulties the difficult situations which they come in our life they are the love letters from the god this is one uh, way to express or all the difficulties are the stepping stones for our success isn't it so you take in any way bhakti aspect or the karma yoga aspect or in the gnana yoga aspect in gnana yoga everything get nullified because only one brahman everywhere there is nothing bad nothing good that is a different state of gnana but until you we reach that highest pinnacle the gnana we have to work with this karma yoga and the bhakti yoga that's why if anybody says many times people will say mind your business that's a very good message for us but we will feel hurt oh there is something i am poking my nose unnecessarily in unwanted things so that fellow is reminding me it's good then i must be grateful to him no if anybody pointing out us whether he is right or not that is next question there is a chance for us to introspect and inspect myself self analysis that self analysis can happen only if anybody is there to criticize us to blame us in bhagavata it says uh, even you employ and keep somebody <laughs> who can always point out your uh, uh, defects in a different way in bhagavata it comes then only you will grow so never take as a offense uh, uh, by anybody saying these things okay so here with the kai kai i explained all that episode how rama looked at the kai kai i given a very deep inner uh, unknown points where you can't see outside when you read ramayana to understand the ramayana 
we have to understand the Rama. To understand the Rama, first we must understand ourselves. Okay, where we are placing ourselves. Okay, even in the Krishna Bhagavad Gita also, to understand the the Hridaya of the Krishna, very difficult. You need that much devotion and the surrender. Otherwise, all silly questions we will ask, like common other people. Even after listening also, the questions, doubts will come in our mind. How come Krishna can play with the so many those girls, Rasa Leela? It's, it's not a public debate topic. We never encourage our talk. That Rasa Leela consider as the very highest tapas according to the sages and the Vyasa. And many people keep that Rasa Leela Panchadhyayi as the Vratam who? Sanyasis. There are some sannyasis, of course, mostly in North India. They keep Rasa Panchadhyayi as the regular Parayana. But what? The vision they look into the Rasa Leela is quite entirely different. In that itself, they are attained the highest what they have to achieve. Okay. Anyhow, that episode we have completed already. Finally, we came to know that Rama showed his grateful gratitude, gratefulness and gratitude towards even to the Kaikeyi more than anybody. That's why he told to all his brothers, never utter a single word against to my mother Kaikeyi. I would like to just remind one point and then go to the next topic today. This is, when Bharata came from his grandfather's house, then he came to know this happened, father died and my uh, mother Kaikeyi asked the two boons, that's all. That time, Bharata questioning Kaikeyi, this point I have not mentioned. Maybe episode is same like again Kaikeyi Bharata, but the point I didn't mention there. Bharata asked, my dear mother, what mistake, blunder my brother Rama did? Why father asked him to go to forest? Father didn't ask directly, but through the mother only. Rama said, whether you ask or father ask, for me, both are one and the same. Bharata questions there, whether my brother Rama hmm, did any theft, he has uh, stolen anybody's property. Because those days, if anybody do this kind of uh, blunders or the crimes, then only they will send them to the forest or they will do the bhaiskarana, desha bhaiskarana or some, some different punishments. So, like that, my brother Rama did anything like a, he did any theft or he insulted any Mahatma or he promised to anybody and he could not uh, fulfill that promise or whether Rama had the desire for anybody's other's wife. Like this many questions Bharata asks, if Rama not done any of these things, I am having doubt why Rama has to be sent to the forest. It is like a punishment only, no? Bharata asks this many questions. You know the wonder when Kaiki heard all these questions, stop. Never ask such questions about the Rama. Please listen carefully. Never ask such questions about the Rama. Rama never do such kind of bad acts. What do you think? Who? Kaiki tells. Rama didn't do any mistake. Your father <laughs> promised to me, then I want, I, I am very much fond of you to make you as the king, I asked. But in that moment also, in Kaike's heart, she kept the Rama in the highest pedestal. Even Ra, she goes one step further. Even Rama loves me more than Kausalya. Rama Sarusumi more than Kausalya. Kaike tells this. But Rama already knows what Kaiki is. But why she behaved like this? That is, I told yesterday, no? Otherwise, Rama praises 
if my kai kai mother is not there then uh, i can't go to the forest if i don't go to the forest i won't meet the my guha friend and i won't get the sugriva as the friend and i won't get such a so many vanaras as my friends not only that i told everything so he quotes all this and finally to accomplish my avatara leela also to kill the ravana and uh, i could not meet my dearest devotee vibhishana so all this happened because of my amma kai kai <laughs> it is a blessing for me rama feels so happy because uh, i would like to live like a tapasvi and in the forest also the rushis are facing a big crisis the karadhushana sir killing so many rakshas uh, rushis so they asked rama please protect give us shelter so all these are the benefits i got if only because of the mantra and kai kai then how you can blame this many benefits i got from her i should be grateful to her no that's why rama showing all the gratefulness towards kai kai also now let us go to the new topic today the fifth one fifth virtue which valmiki asked the question to narad ji so gunavan explain viryavan explain dharmagnaha completed krutagnaha also we have completed now today satya vakya satya vakya it is a become a noun who follows the satya vakya paripalaka to make a big sentence but here in uh, uh, valmiki's question it is a satya vakya if anybody putting a good names to in a sanskrit way uh, we can give a name to a boy yesterday you saw one small girl is uh, roaming in our dining hall one of our uh, employees uh, daughter it's very small uh, she came and uh, did salute to me <laughs> my father told her eh? you see from such a small age if she lives here and see this swami ji's uh, chaffer in color and all that doing namaskara for elders then definitely that child will become a, a very nice uh, good person in the life because these are the samskaras just they absorb into the mind they may not affect now immediately the seeds will be there the point is not that i asked her name you know her name satya kirti and i said hey, what a beautiful name you have then she ate one jangri yesterday they have given sweet now she is sitting in my row only uh, she finished then i said uh, shall i give one more no i ate already she is telling so sweet so how we make the children to grow the environment is more important even though they have samskaras in their own previous birth but now the present atmosphere and the environment that is more important unfortunately now the present condition of the the technology media and all that there is a lot of chance possibility to spoil even they are good <laughs> this uh, will spoil them so they should be very per, uh, very much should be protected taken care by the parents and as well as the teachers teachers okay satya vakya who follows the what he given the he took the vow or the promise that is the meaning who follows who fulfills his promise and whatever the word he says <clears throat> i will give some background to this topic then we'll go to the uh, episodes instances in ramayana in manusmruti it said about uh, this satya all this first uh, manusmruti says vedo kilo dharma moolam what is the moolam for this dharma on what basis the valmiki written the ramayana or on what basis rama behaved with the virtues what is the basis what is the source i mentioned this point in the beginning itself somebody says something good 
he 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 says what i am telling is good and uh, somebody says what i am telling is good that is the fighting between the many religions you now are in the family who decide that who is good who is right who is wrong only shastra shasanat iti shastra shashayate so there is already manual given by the lord that all topics you i think heard through swami nimma apaurusheyam vedam the divisions of the shastra all that that is the pramana no one need to add or change or do something only thing according to the context and the time a little uh, modifications will be there that also told by the acharyas so for as there is no confusion at all what to follow what should not follow what is good what is bad no need to say it is there already said as like any you buy purchase the cell phone the manual given how to use it how to operate it what are the uh, its features everything so to use a small gadget of washing machine iron box and even the medicine simply eye drops but he gives lot of instructions which you can't read eh? very small print they will print <laughs> name sake they will print but manual is required the manual given by the manu manu means who given the manual manu means who has got the mind we are all born out of the manu that's why we are manushyas manushya is a mananat iti manushya who can have who have the power of thinking he is called manushya because we have the sixth sense so ve shruti says ved akhila dharma moolam dharmatik moolam vande ved motham sarva dharmatik and the same manusmriti says that uh, he gives uh, six uh, commandments okay according to patanjali yoga we say 10 commandments five emas and five niyamas they keep on come and again and again according to bhagavad gita bhagwan given elaboratedly those things only okay ahimsa satyam astayam like that but i am here quoting from the manusmriti and in bhagavata this 10 yamanimas bhagwan given in a different way uh, more than 18 20 numbers lord gives in uddhava gita particularly अहिंसा सत्यमस्ते शौचम इंद्रिय निग्रह एक सामसिक धर्म चातुर्वर्णे भ्रवीन्मु फर् आल द फोर वर्णा इन द सोसईटी द मनु प्रिस्क्रैबड अंड सैड दीज आर् दोड ऑफ कॉन्डक्ट बट इट इस नाट कंप्लीट बट इन इन सेल्फ एव्रीथिंग also included i mentioned you remember samanya dharma vishesha dharma so this is common code for everybody okay then as we are knowing just now that we are extraordinary in the all the among the all the animals you know many times you have to remember that no that's why again and again say दुर्लभो मनुषो देह भागवत से शंकराचार्य से विवेक चूडामणि मनुष्य मुमुक्षु द रेरीटी ऑफ दिस् ह्यूमन बर्थ दोल यू विल नो वाट ई हेव टू अचीव विथ दिस रेर इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन एनी अदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट अदर कॉस्ट्यूम अदरवैज यू कैन से कैट कॉस्ट्यूम डॉग कैस्ट्यूम मस्किटो कैस्ट्यू कॉस्ट्यूम शरीर कॉस्ट्यूम में you cannot uh, do dharma there you cannot nullify your all the papam or you cannot try for gnana that's why we have the sixth sense the human beings buddhi etc extra okay. then if you think i have the buddhi the sixth sense extra then veda shastra says satyam vada dharmam chara this is not for the cat this is not for the donkey this is only for the human being 
you need not to tell to cat or uh, cow satyam vada dharmam chara is only for men human beings that's why valmiki uses that word many time satya dharma parakramaha ramaha okay today we are our topic is satyam that's why i am giving just a little background of you know to give more uh, strength and uh, foundation to that word now about when we are talking about the satyam there are two aspects one is uh, pratigna palanam pratigna palanam means abiding to the promise or the vow which we taken or said the word important the second aspect is uh, bhutardha khatanam bhutardha khatanam that means presenting the fact as the fact and that information as it is but you know this communication skill if it is not there we extra add and color it more that is what the media do now this coloring because technology is there the actual ground news and the reality is different but uh, it spreads in a different way when more and more it spread it will take more and more avataras that same point the same topic ore vishayam da 10 per 10 vidama solluvane kadasiyile asal vishayam poyidu the purpose or the main point it will last so bhutardha kathanam if it is satya means in your presentation of that fact it should be really factual information as it is without twisting or tweaking that means twisting coloring and adding more and all that so that should not be there then it is called bhutartha kathanam then we have seen another quote in the ramayana itself satyam is the another name to the lord satyam is another name to lord according to vedanta satyam gnanam anantam brahma taitriyam but in ramayana also satya evahi ishvaro loke who is ishvara satyam is the ishvara i already mentioned this point few days back okay then this satyam itself is the ishvara okay then the what is the capacity of that ishvara simple definition okay vedanta said satyam gnanam anantam brahma but tell me sir in english omniscient uh, omnipresent omniscient and omnipotent g o d generator operator and destroyer we has got all the three capacities the sanskrit meaning is for this sarvavyapi sarvagnah sarvashaktiman is ishvara we have to accept there is some power higher power otherwise how everything is this cosmic cycle is happening going on systematically hmm you may tell you know it is like indra jalam okay to do indra jalam also there should be indra jalika <laughs> that uh, uh, magician should be there no pc sarkar ac sarkar sam sarkar <laughs> now in the kitchen 12:30 uh, everything is rasam sambar uh, rice and everything is kept ready you cannot say simply it is a magic sir <laughs> okay who did that magic he must be powerful the magician the is their head cook you cannot say that nobody is there no magician also is there but magic happened how it is possible magician illa magician illa me magic epdi nadakum so say that's why we have to accept this ishvara then the so satyam is that ishvara in another difficult name satya means veracity v r a c i t y nothing but the uh whereas it is satyam satyam is the heart of the morality satyam is the my all these points why i am quoting is how satyam is the 
source. If you say dharma, virtues, all, satyam is the important. That's why Rama, how much is going to give the that satya vakya. I want to fulfill my father's words and promise. He didn't compromise at all. Now we are going to see some of them. And same Manusmurti says again, I think you may already heard, but uh, worth to remember and re uh, um, by heart and remind. Satyam bruyat priyam bruyat na bruyat apriyam priyam chananrutam bruyat esha dharma sanatanaha. Why this shloka means uh, again in every practice of dharma, dharma sankatam will come. Dharma sankatam means confusion, which is right, which is wrong. Or, now we are talking about the satyam. Epume, Ella Adatalemu, Ella Arkitu, Satyam da Solanama, sir. Everywhere, to everybody, always I must speak the truth, sir. Truth means only speaking, sir, or anything else. Or sometimes can I tell the lies? Doubts will come. That time you must be very, very intelligent, careful. Dharma Sukshma, you must know. Lots of examples in our, I already quoted about the Krishna in Mahabharata war time. And here also I quoted one, that instance again we are going to look into. Where Rama, in only one place, ask somebody, tell the lie. <laughs> then question will come. You are talking since so many days about the Rama, virtuous, virtuous, virtuous. What sir? A person who are, he himself talking lies, big sin. And making others tell the lie. How big sin it is. Then why you are praising the Rama? These kind of questions uh, the intelligent children will ask. Then we must know something more. <laughs> how to explain this. So this Dharma Sukshmam, Dharma Sankatam comes. That time only this shloka helps. Satyam Bhruyat. Okay, you have to speak the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. Speak the truth always. <laughs> Satyam Bhruyat. But uh, it is uh, truth. Don't tell the truth uh, like, uh, you know, harshly. Your truth should not hurt other person's heart. Don't hurt the other's heart by saying harshly your truth. Then you must convey it very. Priyam Bhruyat. Then, na bhruyat apriyam. So, you should not say that is the truth. I am telling the truth, but you, you will tell the truth with angry. I am telling the truth. You should not show the hand like this. You know, tell softly. Convey it without disturbing others' mind. You must have the technique of that. Priyam bhruyat. Apriyam na bhruyat. Okay. Then again problem. No, only Priyam. If I tell this, that person don't like. If I tell like this only, it, it's liked by that other person, Priyam. Because here, you only said, no sir, Priyam Bhruyata. Ah, be careful. Because it is uh, liked by that person. So, for his sake, I will tell the uh, Asatyam also, because he loves, he likes, like uh, Duryodhana and all uh, that kind of character. Because it is Priyam for him. That is what exactly Ashwadhama did in the Mahabharata war time. I told that episode in the beginning of my Bhagavata Satsang. Ashwadhama Brahmana, Dronacharya son, very good warrior and all that, everything. But I want to do the priyam to Duryodhana when all are died. Duryodhana also, legs broken, thighs broken and hands are broken but not dead but he still is in the war field. You know the rule, those days in the war field, if any Raja uh, not died but still suffering with the fracture, injury, they should not take treatment. Hmm. 
not like navidas or me those days that's why bishma said the bleeding is going on arrows are pitted and he is uh, almost fainting at it, but life is there still i no treatment they should not bring the um, any like this warrior or uh, sorry uh, vaidya for treatment okay so uh, but in ramayana when vanaras her died and vanaras her got hurt and lakshmana got her sanjeevi that all and sushena there is a great um, uh, doctor vivishna brought him from the lanka he is also a good person when anuman ji lit the fire in lanka for many houses he left only these two houses one is vibhishana's house and another is susesh susheshana susheshan ha ah, he is a house because he knows he is a dharmaatma for all other houses he put the fire okay what you are talking priyam also but uh, it is priyam to somebody don't tell anrutham and this is the dharma sanatana dharma about the satyam now final one more word before going to the example from our famous mundakopanishad the famous uh, quotation statement which he is used kept in our national emblem and the ashoka uh, simhams and the chakram and satyameva jayate na anrutam truth only when truth only will triumph never the untruth satyameva jayate immediately there is a big doubt will come <laughs> sir if you follow the truth sir you cannot live in this world sir kaliyuga if you you are very truthful nobody will respect you sir first of all you cannot earn the money sir like this everybody generally thinks if that is the case then what to why to talk about and why you have to discuss about the rama and all this yes my dear you want the material prosperity or the spiritual prosperity life has got two sides like a one coin for a coin two sides are important so one side is a material prosperity in that material prosperity also you need not to go adharmic way for your livelihood food and shelter clothing you may not become so rich like the tata or birla or ambani don't worry but you can live comfortable be happy ultimately whether you are happy with lot of money or not whether you are happy without money or not with even minimum that is called you know one of the niyamas contentment santosham be happy whatever you have right now and try for better nothing wrong but dharmically so satyameva jayate now let us come to the uh, episode before that let me remind you i told that i have to teach you one more paragraph of that song ready sing a song of happiness all through the life sing a song of happiness ups and downs are part of life ups and downs are part of life sing a song of happiness all through the life sing a song of happiness all through the life be it success or sorrow 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 be it success this they will show like this success be it success or sorrow <laughs> and this is sorrow that's always tomorrow that's always tomorrow so take it easy take it easy take it easy so take it easy 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 up to this i taught you two days back now that uh, concluding this song uh, the rowing gets tough the rowing gets tough 
the task gets going you will be caught in the waters rough if you are not rowing rough if you are not rowing the rowing gets tough the tough gets going the rowing gets tough the tough gets going you will be caught in the waters you will be caught in the water rough if you are not rowing rough if you are not the going the going leads to the going gets to smoother the going gets smoother the rowing leads to shelter the going lead, the going gets smoother the rowing leads to shelter only if you take it easy take it easy take it easy only if you take it easy 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 sing a song of happiness all through the life sing a song of happiness all through the life ups and downs are part of life ups and downs are part of life sing a song of happiness all through the life sing a song of happiness all through the life okay later again when sing you will remember understand very simple song now where rama expressed showed this uh, uh, satya vakya paripalana satya satya vakya before going to the vanavasa okay he had a conversation with the kaikeyi because dasharatha didn't speak anything that time kaikeyi told this is what happened i asked you have to go now to the forest and all that and uh, she is having some doubt in the mind whether rama goes immediately or not because if we become delay then um, the situations will change so i should not give any time for the rama because the public also ayodhya people also may revolt and before it becomes the agitation <laughs> let me uh, put under control and quickly let me call the bharata back so you have to go now itself immediately don't wait for the bharata coming and making the bharata king and rama said i will see uh, making the bharata as the king then i will go ma but no no you need not to be here i don't know what is her uh, fear in the mind that time rama said this word also very important i already mentioned ramo dvirna bhavibhashita rama dvi na abhibhashate ramo dvirna bhavibhashita bhashate sorry so this is the word he said and vidhimam rushibitullyam also he said you consider me my dear mother like a rishi tapasvi i am not interested fond of these riches and the rajo i am i am fond of the righteousness then um, finally dasharatha not interested he is very much uh, begging rama asking rama and then uh, finally dasharatha said hmm rama you put me in prison and jail lo pod even you kill me and get the kingdom that are the Bhar, uh, dasharatha's words he doesn't have any uh, idea he so much worrying but kai kai telling like this and got the boon and all that rama then didn't her uh, respected the father's words 
father is giving so much you kill me you put me in jail in you know in the muslims moguls uh, empires uh, most of those children keep their grandfather or the father in the jail then they will rule you see the history because this uh, old father that uh, people they won't leave that uh, kingdom because all luxuries are there until they become 70 80 like our dhritarashtra that's why from that time onwards dhritarashtra you know means who very strongly holding to the chair that's why whoever, whoever go to the delhi they never leave that chair they don't like to leave that chair the hastinapur are still maintaining that status <laughs> this you can see most of these uh, muslim uh, rajas they kept their uh, father or uh, no even shah jahan or uh, they kept their father in the jail otherwise they won't leave the uh, raja sukham and bhogam then when i will get chance you go to the jail this is their history <laughs> so here bharat dashrath also asking like that but rama not obeyed fathers not listened at all so following our own promise and the truth is important at heart hand and at the head level then yeah, heart head and hand then <laughs> i already told bharata also asked the kaike like this then rama kaike said rama is good only then so in this way forcefully you take the kingdom dasharatha told but rama never compromised with his uh, wow it is not his wow actually father's words i must respect and i must see my father is a satya dharma satya vakya paripalaka the world should not say that dasharatha uh, said something uh, today he said i will make you a, a crown prince and tomorrow he is asking to go to the forest but really what happened and why i am going my father in future also he should not get any blame but ultimately actually because rama gone to the forest dasharatha died okay because he could not tolerate then it won't become a papam but then we have to trace back the prarabdha and dasharatha quotes a story narrates a story <laughs> i killed the rushi kumara the shravana kumara in the night by using the shabda vedi bana that rushi kumara has got the parents who doesn't have uh, eyes they are blind this boy only taking care of them that boy came to the river and when he is uh, taking the water in the darkness i used to go for hunting in my young age the animals come to drink the water then when that boy kept the kamandalu to take the water that making sound then uh, ashoda thought of from distance some animal is drinking the water he left the arrow and after that he heard the word ha hmm the small babe that boy thinking about a father mother no mother my father then dashrada went rushing there saw that rushi kumara fell down and the arrow in his heart not died then he asked dashrada shivering uh, who are you um i by a mistake unknowingly i left the arrow is forgive me and all that but anyhow the life is going now he is going to die but do me little help that boy didn't curse or did anything my old parents are waiting with thirst the dahat thodang ukandirukanga you please take this water and give to my blind parent because they don't have anybody they may wait for they are thirsty then dashrada went there this story all dashrada tells because of this that time the drushi the father of that boy cursed the dasharatha you also are going to die uh, because of the uh, the separation from your son and your putra vyogam and your son won't be there with you when you are leaving the body that curse dasharatha has to accept see everything is inner linked okay this law of karma how it functions very uh, what do we say hmm? maya <laughs> unimaginable unexplainable you cannot know the trace gahana karmano gatihi 
very deep. But instead of breaking the head, thinking about the karma, 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 better to do now, live righteously, that's all. All other things will be taken care of. So, Rama, uh, Dasharadha's words he didn't hear and then he decided to go to the forest. Okay. Then, then second incident, this dialogue between the Rama and the Kausalya. Somehow, he left the chamber of the Dasharada and Kaikeyi. Dasharada crying, Rama, don't go, don't go. Please don't leave me and go. He is almost fainted, falling and getting up and falling. That is the state of Dasharada. But Rama didn't stand there further. He just rushed back. Now, the big task. As long as Rama is standing there in the Dasharada's chamber in front of the Kaikeyi and all that, he is so stubborn and stood strong. But as soon as he came out of it, now he has to go and tell this message to his loving mother Kausalya. She is uh, eagerly waiting. Now, uh, within another few hours, my son Rama is going to become the king. And she had overnight tapas, vratam, and she took the bath. And uh, Rama has to go and meet her. Rama somehow, with a strong heart, but inside there is a emotional slight disturbance. How I can convey this message, whether my mother can tolerate this? And he went and uh, to the Kausalya's chamber. Kausalya kept so many different kinds of, uh, uh, you know, the, the dishes and as well as particularly for the Vratam, the, for coronation, this Patabhishekam. Uh, uh, then that time, what are the, um, the beaten rice? And all this type of coconuts and this, that, uh, sugar cane, everything she kept and arranged very nicely and uh, cow milk and everything. And she is doing some puja called the Brahmanas. And she prepared special a uh, golden throne, uh, Simhasana for Rama. Because from tomorrow my Rama is going to be the king. If he comes to see me, he should not sit like on these plastic chairs. Hmm. These plastic chairs, they cannot keep the legs down. Tall people, they cannot <laughs> adjust their legs. They have to stretch. So, I, she made a very big simhasanam. And uh, as soon as Rama came, then uh, Kausalya went and hugged Rama. And come, come, my dear son. Come. So, you, this is the for you only. I specially ordered and made it. And you please sit here. What do you eat? All this she is telling lovingly. See, to such a loving Sweet mother, now Rama has to tell, but he told boldly, No mother, now I can't sit on this uh, golden simhasana. I can't uh, have all these luxuries or the food and everything. I have to live in the forest under the tree. I have to sit on the ground. What? What happened? By listening this word immediately, Kausalya fainted and fallen down. Like how? Oh, this uh, banyan, ba banana plant is very actually tender. If a big wind comes, it will fall. With uh, any knife, if you give one, it will just fall. She fall. Kadali Vrikshavata, uh, Valmiki says that uh, like a banana plant which is cut at the root, Kausala has fallen down. Rama went and took her head and he consoled and given some water, and then only Kausalya came to consciousness, but she is very much worrying. Then um, there is a lot of conversation, no, no Rama, never leave me and go, never leave me go, I can't leave, I can't leave. Then uh, in the dialogue, what exactly happened? <coughs> First, uh, Kausalya talking like that and she is pointing out here with the Rama, Dharmagna eti dharmishtaha dharmam cheritum ichasi susrushama mihastastvam chara dharma manuttamam. You are talking about dharma, dharma, dharma and following the truth and all that, serving the mother dharma or not. See, she is no? blackmailing like blackmailing means what she has to say. You serving the mother also dharma only, no? You are in my old age now, you are leaving me and you want to go to the forest. 
you have no responsibility to take care of me then she quotes all this uh, doing susrusha to me is it's a biggest dharma but you are talking about the father father only then that also she tells uh, yathaiva raja pujyaste gauravena tadahyamam aham and you are telling about the father's words father's words and listening to the father and giving the gauravam and the respect to the father pujyaste gauravena tadahi aham i am also mother only no why can't you do for my sake i am telling don't go you be with me and serve me twam saham na janami na ganta vimito vanam if you know this fact how much father is important mother also important why you give only importance to the father don't go na gachat vanam na gantavyam vanam so she trying to uh, pass fair and change the mind of the rama by telling all this rama finally no rama didn't uh, come down <laughs> is that no ma no see we have to see how rama convinced everybody consoled everybody and he followed what he wants to do the dharma righteousness that is important he never hurt anybody patiently he talks to the kai uh, kausalya then kausalya said one more thing if you are not listening to me and if you are going decide to go if you go i will do fasting okay if i do fasting i will die if i die that sin will come to you <laughs> is it good huh therefore don't go don't go to the forest you will go to the hell because of you i die i am doing fasting so she threatens like that because uh, innocent what she can do she could not bear the separation of his uh, dearest son rama then rama requested her and uh, pleased her asked to beg to please allow me amma to go to fulfill the righteous uh, words of the father command to go to the forest then uh, rama says nasti shakti hi pitur vakyam samadikram imitum mama i cannot transgress my father's words okay you are all telling differently whatever you are telling also good only but the first happened my father's promise there and father's promise to the kaikeyamma's father and kaikeyam asked the boons and father said i will fulfill then i have to fulfill that there is no taking back again in this so nasti shakti pitur vakyam samadikramitum to stress pass i am in transgress and go i cannot do i have no shakti for that prasadayetvam shirasa gantum ichcham yaham vanam you please bless me i have to go i will come back only 14 years only then rama quotes some incidents and kausalya also quotes some incidents now i will tell what rama said you know in the once upon a time there is one rishi whose name is called kandu k n d u kandu kandu rishi he killed the cow because his father ordered like in jamadagni story also he asked the parshurama to cut the head of the mother <laughs> these things very difficult to digest and accept you have to see the in and around the consequences how each one related to what but everybody is finally stick on to the dharma that's why purana stories telling or understanding is very very difficult with a experienced and the who is a shastragna some extent the vedanta patanam that teacher only can tell the ramayana or bharata bhagavata anything of course lightly you can listen but listening like this is uh, creating the turmoil in our mind so here rama quotes the kandu rishi killed the cow because father commanded and the same way he quotes another one, the sagara raja who is having 60000 children he uh, ashwamedha yaga is uh, taken away by indra 
go and dig the earth. The 60,000 children started digging the earth. You imagine how it will be. They went up to the Pathana. <laughs> Then there they found Kapila Bhagwan is doing tapas and horse is standing there. That story comes in Bhagavata Mahapurana. So Rama quotes all this and says, then um, see Ma, I am not doing anything on my own. What our elders in our Vamsha followed, the Satya Vakya Paripalana, I am following that only. I am not doing anything new. So uh, the, the role models are there. My father also followed that Satya Vakya Paripalana only, but somehow he caught up in this uh, one situation. But I am fulfilling that. He should not be blamed, or Kaikema should not be blamed. I will accept. That's why in Gita Bhagavan says, Edya Dacharati Shreshtaha Tatta Devita Rojanaha Sayat Pramanam Kurute Lokastadanu Vartate. Role model is required. That's why Bhagavan says, Edya Dacharati Shreshtaha. Very important. Then Rama says, Dharmo hi paramo loke dharma, dharme satyam pratishtitam. This loka already I quoted, but again I am telling. This dharma is the paramam in the lokam. Satyam is, is abiding in the dharma. Dharma sam srita mapyetat pitur vachanam muttamam. If I, am, if I am taking shelter of this dharma, I must follow the words of my father. Satyam, I have to. That, the words are important. So, in this way, uh, generally Shastra says, if anybody gives any word to, particularly to mother or to father and to the brahmana, we must be very careful and we must fulfill that. We should not take back. Then when Kausalya and Rama are talking like this, uh, Lakshmana also uh, was there with them. And Lakshmana now taken little uh, more aggressive part because Kausalya, he wants to support, somehow made the Rama to stop and not to go to the uh, forest. Yes. Then Lakshmana <coughs> talked a little uh, uh, anger and ferociously. Ram, Ra, Brother Rama, listen here. Our mother Kaikei, our father Dashrada, they were not interested about your welfare. They are enemies to you. Because he is so angry, in that anger he is talking like that. They were simply, for their selfish motives, they are talking like that. Why you are listening to them? Suppose if you say, what I can do Lakshmana, this is my destiny. I will tell you, I can fight with the destiny, with my prowess. Only uh, we, weak people only always say destiny. And I am going to prove and even change the destiny with my prowess. You just say one word. Not only to the Ayodhya, brother, you are going to the king of the entire earth. I have such a power. You just say one word. I can bring everybody under control. What for I am holding this uh, arrow, bow? What for? Simply standing here like escort, showcase peace. Give me. Uh, Lakshmana is so eager to fight, no? Give chance to me. I will prove. No one can come in, fr in, in front of you. Who will come and object, I will see. I will make you king tomorrow itself. So Lakshmana, you know, then Kausalya both are talking like this. See, mother also requesting. You are not listening. Please, please. Then when uh, Lakshmana said like this, I will tell that word and conclude. First, uh, uh, Lakshmana said with anger and all that, but with tears. Uh, whether uh, Rama agrees or not. If Rama not agrees, Rama goes. Whether he takes me or not. Still not decided Lakshmana to go to with Rama or not. Because... Uh, Rama, he alone wants to go. Then only one by one, he convinced the Sita. Now, what happened here? Uh, Lakshmana, brother, yeah, Rama first wiped his tears. Lakshmana, he took him, now, come, close. Don't compress, uh, compel me like this, my dear brother. I know the love you have on me. But you know that I have to abide to the truth and the dharma. Then don't compel and force me 
to overcome transgress uh, stress past the for truth or the virtue then um, rama consoled the lakshmana also ultimately he don't want to take back that said that he said once that saw he followed that when this is happening lakshmana talking then kausalya again uh, telling something see we, you go to the forest and eat that uh, roots and the fruits kandamulas and here we cannot enjoy this rajabhogas are the delicious food and everything i cannot finally she realized that we cannot change the rama <laughs> we can't change you from the path of the truth then she says if you are not going to be here then you take me also with you kausala says you take me with you like the old cow follows the calf i will come alive what i will do here so like that she says then rama consoled her kausalya and reminded about the patni stri dharma very important that shlokas i will teach you i will tell you tomorrow patni dharma then kausalya convinced see he has to quote the dharma only to convince the other person also but everybody uh, in the beginning at the periphery blabber and talk and uh, try to pull the rama somehow come back somehow come back but rama never taken back from his one word ekam one one word one arrow and one path eka paata eka baanam rama okay om aanandam om aanandam om aanandam om aanandam om aanandam sachida aanandam om aanandam sachida aanandam om aanandam krishna aanandam om समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता सुखिनो ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ हरि ओं तत्सत्